What's the deal with proficiency-based learning? Hi, my name's Annika, a Vermont high school student. You may have noticed there's a lot of buzz and activity around school change these days, with both teachers and students working to shift the current system to something that will improve learning and teaching even more. One main focus right now is proficiency-based learning, also known as PBL. It is a way to personalize learning and assessment so that you can learn at your best pace and demonstrate your learning in different ways. Now, I know many of you like the system the way it is, but once you understand how you can play a bigger role in shaping your education and monitoring your progress, it will become both more challenging and more fun. Why change to proficiencies? Our rapidly changing world. One reason we are changing to a proficiency-based system is because the world around us is changing. Schools are responding by redefining the ways we learn and how that learning is assessed. In order for us to be effective in whatever path we choose after graduation, we need to be truly prepared. Grading doesn't tell the whole story. Another part of why schools are moving towards proficiencies is that using only letter grades is a pretty limiting way to assess learning. Let's say you mess up early in the year and get a zero, like not handing in an assignment or bombing a big test. You can usually never get your grade back up, even if you figured out the material later on. In the old grading system, your final grade is based on an average of all assignments. In the new system, you get to keep working on something until you get it. So it more accurately reflects what you know and can do. Wouldn't you rather have your grade represent what you can actually do through this type of meaningful assessment? You see, what we sometimes call failure is simply another step in the learning process. Since proficiency systems don't penalize us for making mistakes along the way, we can take risks and learn more. After all, none of us knew how to ride a bike the first time we got on it, right? Proficiencies match the way the brain learns. We know each of us learns different subjects at different rates. Proficiency-based learning lets people advance through school at their own pace. I may be great in math and be able to pick up the pace in that subject, but I might need more time to master science. Proficiencies allow us to match our pace of learning in each subject. With more time, practice, feedback, and support, I can reach proficiency even in challenging subjects. Proficiencies personalize learning. Finally, proficiency-based learning is more personalized, so you can learn the content and demonstrate your learning in different ways, not just with tests and essays. What are proficiencies? Being proficient at something includes both knowledge and skills. Let's take, for example, driving a car. Not only does a licensed driver need to intellectually know and understand all the complexities of driving a car and the rules of the road, she also needs to apply that knowledge by actually driving. Proficiency-based learning is the same way. Not only do you need to know content in a subject, but you also need to know how to apply it, and usually it takes practice to really learn these skills. Just like learning to parallel park. Almost. Closer. Got it. Here is an example of a proficiency in global citizenship. It reads, I can propose solutions to local and world issues by using geographic tools to analyze data and examine cultural information. It's cool that it's written that way because it's really specific about what I need to learn, figuring out how to use geographic tools and data to explore an issue in my town or the world that interests me. Maybe something like using GIS neighborhood information to coordinate recycling pickups so there are less trucks on the road. Then I can demonstrate my learning by presenting at a community meeting on how to reduce pollution. What I'm learning is clear, relevant, meaningful, and I have more say in how I get there. Proficiencies let us spend less time memorizing facts and more time doing active and applied learning. In this case, the learning equation looks like this. Knowledge equals identifying a world issue. Skills equals analyzing and using geographic tools to figure out a creative solution. Proficient equals presenting an evidence-based solution. All brains grow. We now know that intelligence is not fixed and that all brains can and do grow. In this sense, the way we learn is the same way we strengthen our muscles, with time, practice, feedback, and support and everyone can get stronger physically and mentally. 
a proficiency system gives us the space to grow from where we start. So even if we hit a wall, we can pick ourselves up and keep going. Transferable skills. Finally, you might be hearing about transferable skills. They are the skills that serve us for life, like being able to communicate effectively, creatively solve problems, be self-directed, make a positive difference in our world, and be able to apply our thinking to many situations. Building these skills will ensure that we have many choices after graduation. Grades in college. Some people are concerned that not having a traditional report card will hurt their chances of getting into college. Well, the fact is that many colleges have already been looking at proficiency-based transcripts for years. When they see you have achieved proficiency in a subject, it tells them what content and skills you have actually mastered, rather than the vagueness of a grade. A proficiency-based transcript will also give a better picture of who you are by including things like career and technical courses, dual enrollment courses, internships, service learning, and independent studies. Some transcripts may include standardized test scores. Your school is somewhere on the journey towards adopting proficiencies. The road may be unfamiliar for a while, but we're all going to the same place. So be open, be flexible, stick with it. You'll discover that with proficiencies, school can be more empowering, meaningful, and relevant, and more in your control. Enjoy the ride!